Today is part one of our latest epic diorama 1-6 scale haul. Today we're focusing on Dollar Tree, coming up after this. I think this is going to be a three-part series. I have stuff from the Dollar Tree, I have stuff from Dollarama, and I have stuff from thrift, thrifty stuff. I don't, there's lots of thrifty stuff. I would need to show you, I need to take you over there. I don't know if we're breaking the wall today. I'm gonna to be opening a lot of stuff. I don't usually do that in hauls, but let's let's take a look at some of this great stuff that I found at Dollar Tree. Now, I believe I hauled this before. It is the dresser, the, uh, what do they call this fashion doll closet for these, these dolls, these little plastic action figures from the Dollar Tree, which I have opened and reviewed and looked at and gave my opinions on. But then they released these fashions and um, I mean, like do all Dollar Tree stuff, they're, the quality is not so good, but oh, the craftsmanship's not so good and the materials aren't so good. But I chose two ones that I thought were a little cute, weren't so bad, but it really dawned on me that they would fit more on these type of Dollar Tree dolls. And I bought these a while ago. I believe I did haul these already, but I bought them because I thought that maybe I would do a complete like doll makeover, like reroute their hair, make their own clothes, uh, do it all from scratch. But anyway, I, I do want to try these clothes on them in a video and then try them on these, which they say, look, you can see that there's pictures of these dolls on the back of them. I don't know. I don't know about putting cloth on these and how good it would look, but I think it would fit on these. And I believe that these do fit on Chelsea. That's something else that we should try the clothes on Chelsea as well. And speaking of Chelsea, I got uh, her right here. Uh, these colors. This, I don't know, they don't have very many colors of this string. And when I saw them, I said, those are Barbie colors, and they really are. And do you want to know something about this whole Barbie phenomenon that's going on right now? Kind of, it's making me, like, steer more in the opposite direction. Now, in this seg section, this segment, this, this today, in the Dollar Tree haul, there are a lot of these Barbie colors, like, Check that out. Like these signature Barbie colors that like Dollar Tree has totally ripped off and uh, stolen the whole Barbie brand to make their own generic models. But I'm kind of overwhelmed with uh, this Barbie the movie thing and there's like so much and everyone has everything and I'm kind of over here wanting to do my own thing, and uh, I, I hate to say that I'm over it. I'm like, the movie looks fantastic. I'm excited about seeing it and everything, but I'm not going, actually, I don't really, I'm not going to the theater or anything, and it, there's too much. I can't, I can't afford to buy all of this stuff, and the way that I've been doing recently with my dolls is taking the parts that I like so I can't really buy like the, the prices are really expensive in Canada too so I can't really buy like a hundred dollar doll just for the shorts and the top it, it, it doesn't make sense I'm hoping the stuff eventually goes on clearance so that I'm kind of inundated with too much too much Barbie going on Speaking of, oh yeah, oh wait, we, we, we were going, we were talking about this here. Okay, so I uh, use a loom and sometimes I, I like to weave things. I don't know why, I have no use for it. But I have like tried to like make cushions out of these squares. Let me show you, okay, so I tried weaving this stuff. I'm used to weaving a thinner, like I usually use thinner thread so you have to double it up and you can see in the pattern that there's doubled up it took me a while to do this because I had to make sure that the threads were separated in the right directions and I kind of wanted to get that 
you know, Barbie look because her lounge chairs are yellow and uh, white. And it doesn't really fit. And I, you know, I, I sewed these squares, well, sewed them, I don't know, I wove them together so that they would fit on here. And I mean, they kind of, the size that it makes, kind of worked on the chairs. I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know if it's too crafty. I don't know if I like it. But this, this weave, this is the size of the square I get. Sometimes I can, you can fold this over maybe and make a chair this way. I don't know if I like the pattern. It's, it's a bit bold. It's a bit too much. These are perfect Barbie colors though. I wanted to experiment it. I did want to experiment with a thicker weave too. And uh, so I did. And I can't, I haven't really figured out what I could do with this yet. The best is just to fold it over like this. And then that makes a, a good cushion. And then I can make another cushion like this and then build a love seat kind of thing around it out of wood, which I've been trying to do. So, I mean, I couldn't, I couldn't pass that up. This also comes in more of my natural colors and stuff too, which I'm thinking about getting, but the, it's a little thick for one six scale. You really have to pay attention when you're dealing with one six scale. The, the thicknesses are very important to make it look legit. Now these, these I loved finding, and uh, actually a lot of these were super wonky and bent and I had to look through them, and I still didn't get ones that were perfect. But these are windows made perfectly, and um, I, I did pick up some LED lights. We will see the lights that I picked up in the Dollarama Hall, Dollarama in Canada. It's Canada's best dollar store. Oh, debatable. The Dollar Tree is pretty cool too. Anyway, these made perfect windows, totally in my style, like grass screen windows. Uh, amazing. I love those. So that's the most natural good score that I got from the Dollar Tree. Uh, where? Okay, so back to Barbie the movie. So this, and this is the first thing I'm going to open. This, the lounger, is from Dollar Tree. I've opened that before. We are going to open up some of the chairs and tables that, luckily, they do keep bringing these things back. Now, is this is this too big for Barbie size? I think I've seen this in some people's... Oh, it's hard to blow up. In some people's Instagram pictures, maybe? Uh, yeah, that's pretty fantastic for 1-6 scale. I'd have to say that cutting out the bottom, cutting out this plastic membrane in the bottom to make it like a legit could be cool. But you could also just leave it there and sit the doll body inside. I don't have a doll on me to do it, but that's actually pretty cool and pretty you know, this is Barbie the movie all the way. Very, very cute. Would look great in the pool. That's that's not a mistake. And this, the astronaut set, looks so much like the astronaut set we have. The gloves are the same. The sneakers are silly. But I, I got it for the helmet. And the helmet, unlike the Barbie version, doesn't have a screen on it. I guess I'm not going to open up this now. Maybe I will do a comparison one. I have so many Dollar Tree fashions that I that I haven't opened yet. And uh, maybe one day I'll do a Barbie fashion marathon opening and try this stuff on. It's mostly garbage, too, and I don't want to keep it. However, these recent career ones... They do come with some pretty cool accessories, but again, I have most of these things already, but I did, I have been playing with the sp space station. I love taking pictures in the space station. So to have extra gloves and an extra helmet, and maybe the suit might not look so bad in pictures. I don't know, we'll have to, we'll have to check it out. I'll have to take some Instagram pictures for it. Great, more of this furniture. And I haven't opened up these chairs yet, and I got lots of them now. I have, you know, paid attention to people having the table 
I don't like all of the swirlies and I was wondering if I could cut it off strategically like if I cut it off like here and here can I take away some of the swirlies so it's not so frilly it's so funny that uh, we've been trying to get away from pink for so long and now I think we all want the pink because of the movie well not we all me for example is like uh it's it's too it's too much pink it's too much new it's too it's it's too bombarded with barbie everywhere and um, i don't know yeah i'm thinking and maybe i should do it right now if i cut it off with my thing should i try it like, I don't, yeah, see, that's totally not my style. All right, I'm going to do it. I mean, it is just from the Dollar Tree. And I have two sets, too. And I have these special snips. Actually, they might not work. Let's see. And I shouldn't do this live on camera. Because... I can make a mistake. And I'm under pressure. I'm under pressure to make to make it work. But how about if I would cut this on an angle? I'm saying and give it a. And this is when I should put glasses on, and then. Oh, and then break that off. And then measure it maybe, by taking this over here. But I did try to cut it on, like, at the exact bottom, so I don't know, I could trim it later to make it match. I think that might already look better. And then take off the swirls at the top. Can't believe I'm doing this without my glasses. I have my glasses right here. Come on. See it now. I didn't make those the perfect length, so I'm gonna have to like trim that one down. But we're just, we're just doing this on a fly, and uh, you'll have to follow me on Instagram and see. I like how there's this join, and it's joined, but it comes off really easily. And, then, and maybe I'll sand it down. I've been sanding stuff down. You will see that in my upcoming video of the, yeah, see that looks, that looks so much better than a that. So a that is what I am definitely going to do. It still stands. Got to be careful not to take too much off at the bottom there. I think I did take too much off on this side. Doesn't look like it in the picture though, but I'll have to mimic this over here and maybe the angle wasn't right. I don't know, it looks pretty good though. What am I talking about? Pretty good, it looks fantastic. So that is so much better. Way more my style than that curly. That's, this is too much too too much and the table's already pink all right that's cool and uh there's these chairs you know what i don't like and i have been thinking about cutting these nibs off too and i see that in everybody's pictures so since i have these and i have this here and i'm cutting stuff right now let's uh well that didn't come off too smoothly it's really hurting for us again maybe i'll s sand it down uh i mean that 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 is already better so it's barely noticeable now it kind of looks more like just little screws in the side of the chair and and that looks like something's missing and what is missing and i thought maybe we were going to discover that in this and does it take two pieces no no they don't use the same pieces either which I don't, I don't understand what those, why those things are there anyway. Hmm. It would be cool if you could put it together in different ways. Are these pieces all the same, all four of these? So just, how is this design, design going? So here's three of four, and they are all the same. 
So you just plant that into here, and then you plant this into here. And are they dead in the middle? And then this in here. This, these, these pieces of furniture are pretty good. And you know what? Chairs are hard to find, and they're white. Like, I like that. I like, this is a very, very nice chair. Could be used inside, could be used out. You know what? I don't really think it's good for inside. But uh, that is a really nice chair. And now that the table is improved, that's a nice table. Cool set. Luckily I bought two of those, so that's great. We'll build more of those later. Oh, I had a box here to put the shown stuff in. Okay. These things. Now I have some citrus I have some citrus squishies that I have used for chairs in the past. I guess we're opening all this stuff. And I wasn't careful enough to choose. I chose ones with jagged edges. Again, maybe I'll just take some sandpaper and sand that down lightly. I mean, I did look at them carefully. You know, maybe maybe they're all got one or two that are a little janky. Now, this is going to be like, if I use these, the scale is way off, obviously. But they're so poppery and they're so cool. I can just see the room like this really tropical room. Like it makes a good mat. Um, I, I, I don't know what to do with these. I just, I love these. I've always loved like bright slicey fruit slices things. I wish they made limes. Watermelon is pretty cool though. I am surprised that I like it as much because kind of at a scale, if that, it's a mini watermelon and then the lemon and orange lime would be nice to have but we do have the red and the green in there these are cool and they're put on press board wood uh i like them i love the design very cool should i show you the sponge things i'll show you the sponge things at the end of the video i can't remember if i bought them at dollar tree or i got them at um dollarama dollarama i keep saying dollarama Dollarama in Canada. All right, and uh, not one six scale, but I did find these at Dollar Tree, and I think that's really cool. I do collect uh, Mattel cards in, or I do I collect way too many cards anyway. But these mini DOS and Uno games, and I don't even know what Lowdown is, but really cool Mattel little card games. I love that. It's got uh, the city that I live in on the back. If you look on back of your Mattel toys, it'll often say Mississauga, Ontario, Canada, Mattel, Canada. I don't know why. I guess we're the major distribution of toys. Oh, let's take a look at uh, these glasses. So at the Dollar Tree, not one six scale again, but these are me talking, me bad mouthing the Barbie movie and saying it's too much, and then I'm buying all of this. So these dusty rows, very very Barbie glasses. These ones are also very very Barbie glasses, and I mean a dollar fifty. Like come on, that's how much things are at the Dollar Tree in Canada. And then we have fashion dolls, two piece. What do you call this thing? Jet ski? I found these two together and recently I've seen that they have a bathtub and uh, no. Now these are the Barbie core colors. So we've got the pink and we've got the blue and we've got the yellow. This is Barbie signature colors. And this is the best. It'll be interesting to see if it actually fits on my dolls. I hope it fits on the WWE. This actually would look really, really cool as a hard shell vest. Oh, that would be cool if it fit on the WWE dolls. And then here's the jet ski. Oh, did I finish talking about the pool? The pool is just this really shallow, small basin. And I mean, it doesn't have, it's just this little plastic cup and definitely not worth the money. And it's like too small and not stylized enough this however i mean a lot of a lot of work went into this 
to get it for a dollar fifty. It's pretty nice. Uh, it might be interesting to put this in the pool. Maybe we can go in the pool this year with these toys. Oh, I've talked so long. That's why I am splitting up this video into three pieces, at least. And then we have the kayak. Oh, wait, it says right on it. Where's my... Where, where did I throw the plastic? Uh, oh, it says jet ski, yeah. I don't remember what it's called. Oh, there's this piece, too. Remind me, I need to I need to show you the fruit chairs that I use. Okay, we get another life jacket. Three pieces in this. So, again, can't wait to see. Maybe we'll have to do that at the end of the video and try that on. And they have this little, you open that up so that you can put the legs in inside. That's really cool. And this paddle is really nicely made. Just having this stuff like set up on the wall in the background of your beach shack, which I do have a really nice boathouse kind of uh, setup that I've done before with uh, some of the shelves that I have. It works really well. Uh, this is great. Uh, both of these things, like just just for background pieces, even if you don't sit the dolls in them. I love the, the pops of yellow in these. And again, they are Barbie core colors. Did I show you these glasses? These are too silly. These were a mistake, but I couldn't help myself because they're the Barbie colors and I bought them and that's kind of foolish. And then the last thing that I have here is this train set. And I'm not exactly set up to do it, but I mean, it's miniature. It would look so good, like in Slate's little room where he's sitting down or any of the dolls, actually. This is like a one six scale little car train set up. And look how big you can make it. That is, look, there's a lot of different tracks. I guess I'll probably have to do that in another video. I could do... I could do this for 10 minutes. All right, so that's what I got for the Dollar Tree. I'm going to go get those sponge chairs and show you because they remind me a lot of this. And I'm also going to try this. I'm going to grab a WWE doll and see if this jacket can fit on that. And you'll be able to see if it fits on my WWE dolls because they're more curvy. It'll fit on the Barbie. Anyway, like, comment, share, and subscribe. There's going to be two more parts to this. So please watch. And I'll be wearing the same thing because I'm going to record them all now. Let me bring you over here. Uh, we'll sit down here. I'm, I'm looking, this is, I have to go through all of this stuff with you in upcoming, there's going to be so much diorama videos because I've got so much 1-6 scale things and I really have to edit it like I am editing my own life too. But I did notice I have this stuff. This would make a really cool, like, bright color, fruity inspired room. And also these pom poms. I can't find the squishy, the squishy things though. They're here somewhere, which I don't understand because I do keep things. I usually kept them with that. I think I had this big bin. And it's a shame that. It's not here. I think I have another bin. This stuff also reminds me of it. Those Dollar Tree recycling bins would look cool in the same diorama. For pillows, little toys, wooden section, natural section, stuff to be sorted. You know what, I think I have a uh, another giant bin. It looks like you're not seeing the fruity furniture today, but you're just gonna have to, I'll have to make a dedicated video to making that room. Now let me grab a WWE doll, and I'm really hoping that that furniture fits. Here's a, here's a doll that I've been meaning to photograph for Instagram 
that I haven't. Her headband fell fell down. Speaking of WWE, she's got on she's got on that. 80s workout look she's wearing Hot Wheels skate shoes. You want to check out the Hot Wheels skate videos for sure. I think her top is small enough to fit. Looks like her arms will have to go out if it stays on. I mean, maybe I should have had less clothes on, but I mean, this is skin tight outfit. Again, why don't I have my glasses on? Oh, I don't think it's, I don't guess it might not fit on. She can't put her arms down all the way, I guess. If she doesn't have a shirt on underneath, maybe it'll fit. I'll try one. Why didn't I grab a nude one? If you guys don't want to know, nobody has WWE dolls. Well, a few of you do. You want to know if it fits on a regular Barbie. But, yeah, okay, it fits. And then I guess all you would need were bottoms and you would just assume she had a bikini top on. Or I have some bikini tops that would work. But that is cool to see that it does fit. Even on my more curvy WWE. Actually, I'm struggling getting this connected. thought I had it done perfectly. Let me know. I could do another video with these things and then maybe I'll just do a, a pool review of, of the dollar tree pieces. Maybe I'll buy that swimming pool. Can't get it snapped together. Let's see if that, see if it snaps together without her. You know, it barely snaps together. That's so it is. Oh. Yeah. I mean, I got it on good enough. But it wasn't, you know, it's from the Dollar Tree, right? Anyway, cool stuff. Again, more videos coming really soon.